Okay, so today we're going to look at this syllabus dot point, describe the process of DNA replication and explain its significance. So we've got our two verbs. Firstly, describe the process of DNA replication. So what happens and then explain its significance. So why is it important? Remember with explain, we need to link cause and effect. So we're going to start off with the describe because I think this probably takes up most of the time for this particular dot point. So as we've looked at earlier, we saw that DNA is in this helix structure because it needs to be wound up nice and tight in order to be able to fit into the nucleus of our cells. So that's how our DNA starts. Before we can have replication take place, the DNA needs to first unwind and go back to our ladder structure. So if we just redraw our base pairing, remember that A always goes with T and G always goes with C, and these are bonded together with hydrogen bonds. What needs to happen next is we have an enzyme called helicase, which is just like a pair of scissors that comes through and divides those hydrogen bonds. And what we end up with is two separate single strands of DNA now, with those single bases now separate, A and C. Then the next thing we have happen is another enzyme called uh, DNA polymerase comes in and brings in a new matching base to these free bases on our open strands. And as you can see, we now have our, uh, where are we, G? Our double strand of DNA being reformed. So now we have one, two strands of DNA and as we can see, these colors are a little bit similar. This strand one is exactly the same as strand two, and both of them are exactly the same as the strand that we started off with, okay? So what happens is one half of the DNA becomes a template, and the other half is built with our complementary bases. Okay, and because we have half of our DNA that's original, we call this a semi-conservative process because half of the DNA remains the same. Okay, so when we look at the significance, okay, so in particular we looked at the process of meiosis, which we use to create our gametes, so we know our sex cells, so the DNA has to replicate first in order for meiosis to happen properly. So the DNA replicates and then it splits in half so that we end up with 23 chromosomes in our gametes. So when they come back together during sexual reproduction, we come back to our 46 chromosomes. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more about the explanation of, significant, of its significance in class, but this gives you a bit of a nice diagrammatical overview of how we get from our uh, helix structure of the DNA, the DNA helicase splits the ladder structure in half and then we have the DNA polymerase bringing the new free nucleotides in to create our two double strands. And then the last thing that I forgot is we have the DNA rewinding up. So we end up with that helix structure again. And that's it. Thank you.